started the Shower Project with Sally, she asked me if I was interested in doing it and then the friends group got in touch with the university asking for some help. So we volunteered our services for Shower Project and started in June, from which we transcribed Clarence Elliott's plant list from his book. And then we took it from there, building up plant lists, we moved soil, had volunteer days. It took a lot of research, a lot of toing and throwing between people. But yeah, now we're here, planting away. The list of plants Nari had were all the plants that Clarence Elliott used in his original rock garden. And we made it as close to that as we possibly could. As we were looking at Clarence Elliott's book, we realised that he talked about an alpine lawn. An alpine lawn has lots of low-growing plants with a few taller ones piercing through. And so we are experimenting with recreating Clarence Elliott's alpine lawn here. I'm Ian Murphy, I'm from Burnby Hall Gardens at Pocklington and we're actually doing a similar project to the one you've got here. It's been very helpful to see how this one's progressing because it's in front of ours. And it's just nice to come down today and get involved and, and work on it. It's been a fantastic project because there's been so many people involved and giving up their time voluntarily. Uh, the staff of the university, the students, the friends group all came out in the worst of weathers and helped with the restoration. What we're now doing is the final piece in the jigsaw. Anything like this is down to volunteers. They come rain or shine and they really, really do well. The university students have been absolutely magnificent. They still are being magnificent and for that we shall always be grateful to the University of Sheffield.